Hello, this is Mari Lane from the Buying Space Channel. Today I'm reading passages for the Pentecost, which is Sunday. And uh, I'm reading from the New Catholic Bible, which was published in 1954 from Acts chapter 2. The Church in Palestine and Syria, the growth of the Church in Jerusalem, Chapter 2, the Descent of the Holy Spirit. And when the days of Pentecost were drawing to a close, they All were were all together in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a violent wind blowing, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them parted tongues as of fire, which settled upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in foreign tongues, even as the Holy Spirit prompted them to speak. Now there were staying at Jerusalem devout Jews from every nation under heaven. And when this sound was heard, the multitude gathered and were bewildered in mind, because each heard them speaking in his own language. But they were all amazed and marveled, saying, Behold, are not all these that are speaking Galileans? And how have they heard each of us in his own tongue in which he was born? Parthenians and Medes and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadonia, Pontus and Asia, Phygia and Pomphylia, Egypt, and parts of Libya, around uh, Cyrene, and visitors from Rome. Jews also, and proselytes, Cretans, and Arabians. We have heard them speaking in our own languages of the wonderful works of God. And they were all amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others said, in mockery, they are full of new wine. Peter's Discourse But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and spoke out to them. Men of Judea, and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and give ear to my words. These men are not drunk, as you suppose, for it is only the third hour of the day. But this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, as the says the Lord, that I will pour forth of my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. The moreover upon my servants and upon my handmaidens, for in these days I will pour forth my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in the heavens above, and signs on the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the day of the Lord comes, the great and manifest day. 
And it shall come to pass that whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth was a man approved by God among you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did through him in the midst of you. As you yourselves know, him when delivered up by the settled purpose and the foreknowledge of God, you have crucified and slain by the hands of wicked men. But God has raised him up, having loosed the sorrows of hell, because it was not possible that he should be held fast by it. For David says with reference to him, I saw the Lord before me always, because he is at my right hand, lest I be moved. This is why my heart has made merry and my tongue has rejoiced. Moreover, my flesh will also come, will rest in hope, because thou wilt not abandon my soul to hell, neither wilt thou let thy Holy One undergo decay. Then hast made known to me the ways of life, that will fill me with joy in thy presence.